Hi, I just wanted to show you this gorgeous, colourful piece of knitting that I'm going to be knitting on while I talk to you. Hi, I'm Sita. This is the Shawl Knitter Unplugged. And I'm coming to you today from Cape Town in South Africa. Cape Town is a beautiful city situated almost at the tip of Africa next to the Atlantic Ocean. It is a gorgeous city and um, a very, very popular international tourist destination. So perhaps you've been here. I don't know. But nevertheless, welcome to my channel. This is where I am. And I will be here for the next two and a half weeks until I leave for India. So the Shawl Knitter Unplugged is my um, knitting and fiber uh, space on uh, YouTube. And I can hear now that the neighbors are actually doing some building work. So there may be some noise, but that's how life is. Um, yes. So first of all, let me just say thank you so much to everybody who subscribed to my channel last week, who viewed my video. Uh, I had a few thousand views more than any of my other videos and run about 300 new subscriptions which was so delightful so i want to thank you all for joining me and i i think we can we can put that down to uh, stephen west suggesting that uh, and showing my version of the original clue one which i managed to finish very fast and had posted it on his forum and he used it when suggesting what to do instead of the first version of clue one so i'm going to show you that um that is it it was the alternating garter with a stocking stitch and um yarn over eyelets which is totally fascinating to me because by now we all know that clue two was full of eyelets so it matched perfectly well from clue one to clue two and i'm thrilled to say that so i'm going to show a spoiler now so that we can actually see how clue two matches this is clue two you can see all the holes and i'm just going to raise it up and let you uh, get a glimpse of the whole um, clue one and clue two Turn it sideways you can also have a look at that there's that lovely flat um, eye cord and i think it all just uh, perfectly matches and flows from clue one to clue two totally beautifully so thank you thank you thank you thank you very much for that sorry i just had to take a break i had a Call coming in very inconveniently so yes um, the geo gradient MCAL I'm loving it it's going along nicely I've added this wonderful speckled orange and lime green to my palette so now I have five colors maybe I'll have six colors by the next time uh, we, we meet again but um, I'm enjoying it very much I've finished clue two and I'm working on some other things um, that I wanted to show you. This is a lovely shawl that I'm working on, which is a bit difficult to actually show you because it's it's on the needles. And you know how when your shawl is on the needles and you want to show it, it's always just a pain that you're in the middle of a row. But you can see it's got some lovely colors and some lovely textures. And this is called Butterfly Wings from Noriko Ho. And it's a lovely shawl with, um, with these two areas of increases sort of on the side. So there's a middle panel and then there's an increase and then there's a side panel. And on the other side of the middle panel, there's another panel. So it's sort of like that very much like butterfly wings and i'm really enjoying it i'm using a whole lot of scraps and leftover bits that i have 
and uh, really getting into the orange and a bit of lovely deep deep purple the patches of yellow and some nice textured stitches that I'm really enjoying and yeah that's what I'm sort of filling my time with until we get clue three um, I have some other things to show you that I realized that I hadn't really shown I don't think I have knitted a lovely shawl by Amber O'Brien called Fruity Tingles and I might be wrong I can't remember if I, I I know I've posted it on Instagram but this is a really fun knit look at that isn't that great it's a triangular very wide sort of shallow triangle so it's actually quite long which means it can really wrap around very nicely and it's made out of this luminous lime green which actually looks very yellow here and this wonderful little stitch technique which is called daisies in a row which i've done in some bright pops and some black just to make this a sort of a bit of a a lovely statement shawl and ending off with this lovely sort of bubblegum pink as i call it this is a very nice shawl it's blocked and uh, ready to go i am going to be having a pop-up of my work on the 26th of October shortly before I leave for India so hopefully I'll be selling some of my shawls and um, yeah I'm, I'm really enjoying the month of October with all the MCAL and getting a whole lot of knitting finished off before I head out to India I will take some knitting with me but it's it's um, yeah, not really possible to knit when I'm on my tour but I will be there for four months so I will have time uh, another garment that I'm busy with which is in the green vein which I'm really loving and I mean it's really hilarious because um, I got this gorgeous uh, sadness gone Lena yarn uh, sent to me from Norway and I've knitted this divine Jessie May helix pullover and I've been very carefully measuring out my yarn thinking I was going to run out so I stopped the body and then I did this the sleeve the three quarter to make sure that I had enough yarn and then I went back on with the body and then when I was packing my suitcase the day before yesterday I realized that I actually have two balls of yarn instead of one ball of yarn so the one ball of yarn would have got me another three quarter sleeve so now when I cast on for the sleeve, I'll make it a full length and then I'll have to unravel this rib and knit the sleeve longer. I could make the body longer, but in fact, I'm quite happy with the length of the body. It's very, very kind of stretchy. And I guess once I block it, it might look quite different. I, I can probably say this is the first time I've ever knitted um, the fourth size of a knitting design, which is quite large. And I thought that I would I would end up with something quite sort of oversized and and uh, baggy, which um, I was looking looking forward to having. But um, so this is the large that I've knitted, and it is at this stage still fairly uh, figure hugging. Well, not quite positive ease, almost, um, you know, because it's rib, it does have a lot of give. So I'm really hoping that um, once it's washed, it will stretch out nicely. And this cotton viscose linen blend is so beautiful. It's got this lovely drape and it's also got a beautiful weight. So I'm enjoying that very much. And as you can probably see, I am embracing green. That's my new, um, green is the new orange. Now, I wouldn't really say that. I would say that green and orange go very well together. And I'm really enjoying working with green, um, green yarn. And um, I have another shawl planned with my leftovers from the MCAL. I, I did actually end up with almost having enough yarn for, for two MCALs. I probably do because I used some from Stash and some from a kit and then I added in this 
lovely new color called Holiday Fever. That's what this this orange color is called, and I'm really loving it. And yes, it's yellow, orange, lime green, and it just goes in perfectly with the green. So green and orange it is, and I'm really loving that. And I just wanted to point out to you, this is also a lovely little dress, which is uh, again um, hand block printed from India. I, I had this dress made there, and today is one of the first lovely sunny spring summerish days it's around about 29 or 30 degrees celsius so definitely dress weather definitely not sock weather which is great and not sweater weather but i, I love sweater weather i have nothing against it but it's really great to have a lovely sunny day so i went out for a long walk this morning and i ended up going into the city and um uh, starting to organize my visa for India which will take about 10 days and doing a bit of shopping and yeah it's funny how always whenever one is about to go traveling there seem to be things that you need uh, that you probably wouldn't need if you weren't going anywhere but anyway I got myself a lovely um, new carry-on um, suitcase which I really need I'm going to try and squash myself into a carry-on and um, I uh, hope that I can use that during my two weeks of tour I'm really looking forward to that um, so I'm sorry I'm going to be interrupted again <laughs> 